In my mind, 90% of productivity hacks are totally useless, but there is one tool that I've used literally every single day for years to organize my goals and achieve the dream life that I want, and that tool has been Evernote. So I'm going to show you guys here today how exactly I use it on a daily basis. What's up you guys, Alex Hine here. So before we jump in, I've put together a free journaling worksheet. If you're someone who wants to know how to design your dream life going forward, check out the free worksheet below this video because it'll help you figure out exactly how to get your life together and plan out the most ideal version of yourself going forward. So when we talk about Evernote, the main way that I've used it is to organize long-term goals. So that's hack number one. So I wanna show you here how I've used it on a daily basis to review all the goals that I wanna achieve in my lifetime and look at the daily habits that are necessary to make that happen. So I'm gonna pull up this document here that is really my 2022 vision and goal setting document. So at the head of this document, you can see it has these three prompts. It says sabbatical, fun, and connection. So basically those are the three words that are essentially my mantras for the year. And I've entitled this document at the very top, it says the top three outcomes for the year to work towards. The first thing says complete healing of the spirit, mind, and body, a great mood every day, rested, no issues with physical health, and feeling excited. The other one, it says, is social. Best friends, social ties, part of three communities, and the most fun I've ever had, and I'm in a serious relationship. The third is it says I have a full, chill, private practice, and a lean team, people who help me with this business. And then it goes into more things from there, my adventure fund, which is what quarterly trips I want to take anywhere in the world. And then really written down specifically what I call the list. And the list is just, what do I actually want to have happen? Not what's realistic, but what do I actually want to have happen? So for here, it says things like my dream girl or massive daily excitement about my life or a two week trip anywhere I want in the world each season. Basically, the first way that I use Evernote is by planning out long-term goals as opposed to having these little notes everywhere and scattered journals and journal there and a digital journal, little notes on my phone, you have all of these major long-term goals all in one spot. Now, the second way I use Evernote is to organize specific projects. So for example, if you have a project that's really long-term that doesn't have a finish date in a day, a week, or a month, like writing a book or launching a business or doing a YouTube channel, then you need to have a long-term strategy playbook for that project. So I wanna show you an example right here, which is the next book that I'm gonna write. I don't know what that book is gonna be, and I don't even know when I'm gonna write that book. All I know is at some point, I am gonna write a third book. And every time I get an idea or a little ping or a little gut feeling for what that book might be, I add it to this document. And it just says, my New York Times bestseller launch plan. And it starts with these books that have inspired me in my life. So whether they are medical books or they are philosophical books, practitioners like Carl Jung, or Sigmund Freud. And then, it, you know, I've even broken it down into the thesis statement. Like, what is the big idea of this book? And I may not write this book for another five years, but all I know is that I'm already getting those gut feelings and those gut impressions for something about this book that I'm going to write going forward. Now, you could just as easily use this strategy for a fitness plan, right? You could track your workouts each week or for a nutritional log, and you just take pictures of every meal you eat and you paste it in there every day. But I find that the second most common use for me for Evernote is planning out long-term goal setting that is something that's gonna take a period of time longer than a month. And the third use of Evernote for me is in tracking daily habits that are aligned with the goals that you wanna achieve. So you probably have seen my daily scorecard in some of my other videos, which is the main way that I turn the goals that I wanna achieve into an actionable daily ritual. But I'll show you here, for example, I put together this other monthly planning document and this is my massive blackboard that's in my kitchen. And all it is, if you can see it, it just says what my 100 day goals are. And within those goals, you know, you see those three mantras at the top, sabbatical, fun, and connection. But underneath that are all these little post-its that are designed to show me the exact daily habits I have to do every single day to make that happen. The reason this is so useful for me is that on a daily basis, I don't know what to do to launch or grow a business. I don't know what to do to get a new friend group, or I don't know what to do in order to actually build a business. But if I turn that into a daily habit and I track those habits in Evernote, within Evernote, it makes it a lot easier for me to know exactly what to do today to reach that goal. So you can see 
you know, it has these current goals, how good you want to feel, trusting your gut, make your life revolve around your dharma and your work. And I've broken it down into a series of habits to do every single day. So for me, one of the most useful ways to use Evernote for long-term planning is tracking daily rituals and tracking daily goals. So I'll show you another example here of what specifically that might look like. 2022, I have these lists of things that I wanna do and we talked about that prior, but I wanna show you on the other side of this document, literally says inspired and aligned daily rituals. And so something that seems vague, like I wanna feel well every day is broken down into five habits that says eat a certain amount of food, certain kind of food, go to bed at a certain time, work out a certain number of times each day, reduce your work to this number of hours. And if you just do that, usually you feel well on a daily basis. So the benefit of turning something that's massive into something digestible and tangible every day is a really big perk of utilizing Evernote in this way. Those are the three ways that I use Evernote to design and create and go after my dream life. Again, if you guys wanna check it out, I have two other related videos on this topic as well as on Evernote. So check them out nearby and check out that free downloadable journaling worksheet below this video.